Windows Explorer is basically saying I want to be able to explore my Windows environment, Windows Vista. I want to find my files and folders fast. For example, if I double click on any one of my folders here, a Windows Explorer opens up. And this is what I mean. Let's take a look at it. You see a lot of things just in this window here that we're exploring. First of all, on the left hand side we have what's called the navigation pane. It's divided into two sections. This top section is your favorite links. You can actually customize this that you can click and go to your favorite folders. For example, where it says more, if I click on that, I can go to my desktop, I can go to my public folder, I can delete the public folder or my pictures and actually put in family photos and have it a shortcut going right to that. Then below that you have also your folders menu of everything. Let me click off in a blank area. Of everything starting from your desktop all the way down. We'll cover a little bit more detail in just a second. But that's your navigation pane here. Down below is the details pane, so anything that you find in your views, if you click on it, as you've already seen in previous training videos, it gives you more details about that image that we're selecting or that file or folder. And there's the folder there. A few little details about it. And then of course your main view over here. And then up from that you have a toolbar. You have a menu, which you probably don't have up already. In order to bring up the menu, I'll show you how to customize it so you can see this menu here. And then you have your address and your instant search field. That's what Windows Explorer is all about. It's exploring your computer here to find files and folders and documents fast. In fact, when I close out of here, notice if I right click on the folder here and I say Explore, it opens up the same window, doesn't it? Close out. If I right click and say Open, it opens up the same window, close out. If I double click, it opens up the same window, right? So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to work from top left to right down to the bottom here. So first of all, you have your address. And on the address, you see these little arrows when you click on them? It'll actually go into subfolders. So what's right now, I'm currently in the exercise folder because I just double clicked on it, right? And that's what it says up here. This is the address bar. It shows me I'm in the exercise folder. In the exercise folder, there's another folder called something else. When I click on the drop down arrow, I can click on that and it'll plop me right into the something else folder, which is a subfolder to the exercise folder. So if I click on the exercise folder, it takes me there. If I click on the drop down arrow, go to something else, it takes me there. If I click on the preceding little triangle or arrow just before the exercise, it gives me the hierarchical structure of what's on top of that, which is the desktop. If I click desktop, it shows me everything right here in here in this view part of the folder and it shows me additional things like the control panel which is nice because the control panel although it's not on my desktop it's a feature that you can click on your start button and click on control panel here to go right to close out and I can click on double click on the control panel it opens it up right within this window doesn't it now notice when I double click on it it changed the window but I can always hit the back arrow just like I do with Internet Explorer when I go from one page to another. Just think of it navigating in your Windows Explorer by hitting the back button to go back to where you originally were. Now I can go forward and I can go back. Okay, while I'm in here, I want to go to my exercise folder. Let's say I'm looking for a file within the exercise folder and I want to search it. If I double click on it, boy, I got tons of files in here. I'm looking for the one that says um, child computer. I can't quite remember. Click in your instant search field and type in the word child, or at least those keywords that you remember, and it automatically pulls up child computer, and it filters everything else out. If I want to go back to the original view, I can go always go ahead and click on the close or X button, and it pulls everything back. It brings out what was filtered back in. So that's your instant search, which is very helpful for the folder that you're currently in. Now, I do have a menu here that you probably don't have. For example, I click on File and Go to New and create a new folder within the window here, um, New Contacts, etc. I'm going to click off in a blank area. If you want your menu up, the way to bring it up is on the toolbar here. Click on Organize, come down to Layout, and be sure to check your menu bar. Now, if I click on it, my menu bar is gone. There's two ways to bring your menu bar up. You can click on the Organize button, go down to Layout, and check it, which I won't. I'll click off in a blank area. Or hold down the Alt key, well, hit it once, and it brings up your menu. And you see those little underlines there? We already covered this in a previous training video, but it just means when you hold down the Alt key and you hit the letter F or the letter T because it's underlined, it'll actually pull up that menu. All I have to do is click in a blank area, and it collapses. When you hit your Alt key, it only brings it up temporarily. When I click in a blank area, it collapses. But to bring it up permanently, click on Organize, go down to Layout, and click Menu. You notice the other layout options. When I click Menu, let me bring that up first, and let me go back to Organize, down to Layout. The Details pane and the Navigation pane. The Details pane is down below. If I go ahead and I click on the Details pane, it gets rid of it. Click on Organize, go down to Layout, and I get rid of my Navigation pane. And this is all I've got for exploring. 
I like it this way because it pretty much keeps it simple for me. I, I don't like the navigation pane or the details pane. I pretty much know what I'm looking for. The search field, if I need to go in more detail, the instant search will help me filter out additional similar files that were within this folder here. But to bring them back up again, click on Organize, go down to your layout, and go ahead and check Details pane. Go down and check your Navigation pane. The Preview pane, um, that's okay. Click on Organize. What it does, it'll give you a preview of what you have selected over here. So if you want to know what's in your Word document, click on it. Give it a second to filter through it and then pull it up. And it will start pulling it up over to the right-hand side here. Um, give you an idea of what your document looks like. In fact, you can scroll all the way through the document. Preview pane, not popular for me, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Organize, go to Layout, and remove the preview pane. Over to the left-hand side here, you can customize your favorite links. If you don't like all of them, like your music or recently changed or searches, basically the only thing I care about in my favorite links, if anything at all, is my, when I click on More, is my desktop, and maybe a shortcut to my exercise folder, or maybe the something else folder that you see here that's below my exercise folder on the desktop. Basically, all we need to do to customize our favorite links folder is I can click on this arrow to collapse the folders down below and then just find a blank area and right click and say open my favorite links folder. When it opens it up, it shows all the shortcuts there. I can click on these and start deleting them. Yes. Click on recent changes, hit the delete key, click yes. Right click on public, delete it, click yes. So I can just keep deleting all of these. You may want them, that's fine, but I want to show you I can get rid of most of them here. Now if I want to go ahead and add a shortcut to this, I can right click anywhere in the blank area here, go down to new, and come up here and left click on shortcut. Now it's going to say, okay, where's this item that you're looking for you want to create a shortcut for? Click on the browse button, and remember, mine's on the desktop, my exercise folder, so if I click on it and I select exercises, or maybe just something else, and I click OK, it's going to point right to there, the shortcut, click next. What's the name of the shortcut? It's going to be something, or it could be family photos. Let's pretend it's like family photos, and then click finish, and it adds the shortcut right here. Adds it over here, and it adds it to my favorite links, and it got rid of all the extra junk, as it were. And then I can just go ahead and close out of my links folder here, back to square one. You can see I only have two shortcuts here. When I click on it, it takes me right to family photos, which is when I double click here, it's in something else. There's the Smile JPEG. I close out of here. There's my Smile JPEG. Okay, let me go ahead and click on the arrow to expand and pop my folders back open again. Folders are fairly nice in that you see these triangles. It's dark and it's pointing down. In fact, it's like a trail of breadcrumbs. I can see the current folder that I'm in because it's outlined in, well, it's gray outline. And I hover over it's blue. And you can see it's from the desktop, which is black, from the exercise folder down to something else. You can also click on that black triangle to collapse it to close it back up and click on it again to expand it. And I'll close it back up. I can come here on the computer and click to expand it. Click on the C drive. Click on the HP. I want you to notice that every click it shows me a point of interest that I've been at starting from the hierarchical structure of desktop. Well, I went to computer, went to HP, went to um, HP folder and that's where I'm currently at right now. And When I click on it, it actually pulls it over here in the view pane for me to view everything that's within that folder and you see the trail of breadcrumbs, all those triangles that are dark, it leads me and shows me which folders I'm, subfolders I'm going through right now, because this is a subfolder to the C drive, which is to the computer, which is to the desktop. And I can click on any one of these folders here and be able to view everything on the right hand side. Maybe I shouldn't be showing you any of this, and when I want to collapse them, I can click on those little black triangles to bring them back up. Even the exercise folder again, click on the exercise folder, it brings it over, and I can see everything over in the view pane. Finally, down below is the details pane. Whatever I select here will give me more details down below. Now, later on in the training video, we're going to cover what's called tags. You can add a tag. All that means is that basically if you're searching for a file like child computer's name of the file, you can add additional keyword searches or tags saying it's family, it's from the Kershaw side. I can just click in here and add those and save it. So if I forget what the main name of the object is, in this case the picture child computer, I can do an instant search and just type in other keywords like Kershaw. And it, because it's not in the name, it'll search the tags if it's there. It'll pull up child computer, and I'd have to look at the tags to say, oh, additional keywords down here. These tags are Kershaw, the family name, and so forth. Other than that, like I said, if you don't like any of these here, you can certainly click the Organize button, go to Layout, and deselect them by clicking on them to turning them off. And then one final note here when it comes to viewing the uh, icons within the view 
screen here. You can change the views, go to something extra large, which pretty cool. You can see the actual picture that's within the uh, manila folder here. Of course, just play with it. Large icons here and maybe smaller icons. And the thing that you'll find out is that you may want to see it in different types of views. My favorite view is the list view because it fits everything within the window and it doesn't like the details. Keep it vertically here, which all these other details like the star rating, I can add ratings to the different types of images and media files. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it back to list. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.